All right, this sheet is just all of the different parent functions. So if it looks like uh, just plain old x, x plus 3, you add any number next to this, but the variable is just an x, it will look like this. If your variable is inside of an absolute value, you can put any numbers you want around, and it will look like a v. Same thing here, if this is your x, I put any numbers around it, and it will look like a greatest integer function. So if it has this as its variable situation, then that is what its graph will look like. So x cubes will look like this. As long as it's just adding numbers around them, it will have this shape. If it's a square root of x, same thing, all the way down. So you now have a sheet of all the different parent functions that you have encountered throughout this course. So to give you an idea how that looks, here's Desmos. We're going to do an absolute value because it's a nice one. There's the V. So you already see I've taken X minus 3 plus 5 and I've plugged these numbers in. There's our shape. So if I were to put a 2 there, still the same shape. If I put a negative 5, it's still the same shape. It's just sh heading down now. But if I put numbers here, 50, oh, there it is way up there now. See? It's still that same V shape. So this is the shape it will be without with whatever you do to them. Add any number to any of them. And I would play in Desmos with them. You'll see. Just do not add extra variables, just numbers. Thank you.